has struggled lately against lefties. Now the 0 1. Hit him. Got him on the back foot, it appeared. Calling the swing now. They're calling it a swing, yeah. That's what home plate umpire Brian Gorman indicated. Cabrera wanted uh, an appeal. Eh, it was close. Looked like it uh, looked like he went and it hit him in the knee. Cabrera now pleading his case, but he's not going to win it. Boy, that was awfully close. It looked like if he went, it was barely. And the tough part is he took it square off the knee. He'll foul that one back out of play. No balls, two strikes on Miguel Cabrera. He threw him out of the game. Come on, oh, goodness sakes. Brian Gorman, oh, this is terrible. Really? This is terrible. Goodness gracious. That is ridiculous. Best player in the game, headed to the clubhouse. Second time this year, Miguel Cabrera has been thrown out of a game in the middle of an at-bat. Well, unless Cabrera said something extremely vulgar to Gorman, which I guess is always a possibility. You gotta be kidding. The umpire can then throw you out, but I mean there was this is as animated as we've seen Cabrera all season long. That's brutal. I mean brutal. Jim Leland is beside himself right now and uh, he is so upset he so really can't even argue. But he'll get heated up here in a minute. Jim's gonna get tossed too. Cabrera just got thrown out of the game in the middle of an at bat. The count is 0 and 2. Now you've got the best player in the game back in the clubhouse. And we'll see the original pitch here. And the check swing by Cabrera. Obviously, Miggy was hit, but what Brian Gorman was doing, he called the pitch himself. And I'm sure Miggy was asking, why didn't you get some help from Tony Randazzo, who was the first base coach? Well, but it's up to that home plate umpire to see if he wants the help. And, and Gorman felt he didn't need it. Now Cabrera not even facing the umpire and there he goes. So Cabrera has been thrown out of this game. I told you Jim was going to go too. And the manager's gone. What a start to this one here tonight in Chicago. Brian Gorman has ejected Jim Leland. He's ejected Miguel Cabrera. Skipper's going to hang around long enough to get his money's worth here before uh, sooner or later these uh, umpires will convene to try and break this up. But Brian Gorman is the crew chief, the uh, home plate umpire. And Leland continues his argument here. He's been thrown out of the game, so the Tigers now will be without their manager and their third baseman. How about this for the start of a Big three game series for Detroit coming in. Their lead in the Central Division over the Cleveland Indians was five and a half, seven up on Kansas City, and now this game has been altered dramatically. So Leland is apparently done with his argument. He'll hit the showers, so will Cabrera. And we'll see who assumes the 0-2 count. The Tigers are going to have to make a change here. With two outs, nobody on here in the first inning. Meanwhile, Chris Sale has been made to wait, so he's just warming up right now on the hill as Leland gives his final instructions. And Brian Gorman is waiting to see who will uh, take over. Looks like Santiago is going to stay in the game and play third base. But now, as this game progresses, your three-hole hitter is Santiago instead of Miguel Cabrera. Well, they're going to miss Miguel. There's no doubt about that. But they still have plenty of good players that are on that field tonight that can win this game, and that's where their attention needs to turn to right now. It's a big game. Meanwhile, Brian Gorman is waiting for Leland to leave, and Leland won't as he continues chirping from the dugout. So Santiago will assume this at bat here with two strikes in the count. 